In this video, we will discuss why we know so little about Halo Infinite and why we will continue to know so little, and we have four major reasons why. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, give you another commentary when involving Halo. If you like these kind of commentary videos, please make sure to tap that like button. So let me know if you want to see some more content like this. So let's get right into the video here. So we've known about Halo Infinite since 2018, but we have learned very little about the game. We've only had about four minutes actually of real raw actual gameplay that was revealed to us back in July and after that pretty much radio silent for a little bit of news trickles here and there and then eventually with the game being delayed until 2021. Now I do see in my comment section of my videos quite often about people having major concerns wanting to know more about this game and getting some details of what we can expect with it and I think we will pretty much be left in the dark for a lot of major uh, aspects of the game and I have four major reasons why. So Let's get right into that right now. So the first thing I'm going to talk about why we're going to know very little about Halo Infinite for throughout the entirety of this dry spell until the game actually releases is one because of marketing back in 2013, 14 and 15, uh, the marketing for Halo 5 was not exactly uh, representative of the game to say the whole chief versus lock aspect and the hunt the truth kind of style of storytelling that we're doing and who's the real bad guy and two sides to every story kind of element sounded really awesome it had me really excited about halo 5 and i was like this is going to be like one of the greatest halo stories ever told i was super excited about it and then once we actually played the game uh end up being the worst Halo story in the franchise. And well, I think one thing led to that was the marketing. It just that they had one storyline that they wanted to tell with the marketing, but the game was like, well, we can't exactly tell that story. And they had these two different aspects going at full speed ahead, trying to meet a deadline. And I'm sure the marketing team wasn't fully informed. I'm sure the uh, development team for Halo 5 had to probably cut and reorganize a few things to make it work. So I don't think either side was meant to be misled Leading. I think just that uh, the story of the game was kind of just constantly evolving until, well, the actual release of the game itself. And that was a major complaint throughout the community at large of just gaming in general saying, what is up with this marketing was so great, but then the game that we got just wasn't that marketing. And so I think what 343 is trying to do is avoid that situation again without building up too much hype or misleading people by accident or intentionally, whichever one way you want to look at it. And so they want to make sure if what they're going to be advertising of the game story-wise is actually what's going to be in it or what they can actually show. And with how fast news travels nowadays, I think that having a traditional like two year long trickle of you know news and information about a game and marketing it's just it's not the same anymore news and information travels so fast you got people like me making youtube videos as soon as stuff happens gets thousands of views as a whole hundreds of thousands of views uh, within the entire community talking about the same topic over and over again and so you don't really need as much ramp up time i think the, the release of fallout 4 really showed that how that e3 they announced that fallout 4 was happening and was releasing that fall and fallout 4 seemed to do pretty well at least uh, financially. Number two reason why I am think we're gonna have very little to know about Halo Infinite up until its release is because they put a big emphasis on mystery and surprises. Think about Combat Evolved. If you knew everything about that game before it was releasing like the lore behind the elites and the lore behind all the Marines and if you knew about the Forerunners, if you knew the Flood was gonna be in that game, would it have been as great or of an experience to play if you knew everything before actually playing it? That's why I'm thinking that they're going to be kind of hush hush on a lot of details about the game. Like, yes, we do know uh, like Brutes are coming back, Ashram's going to be the main villain, we get the Banished, like very basic story elements I think we'll get a chance to know. Things like Cortana, the Flood, and Osiris, and so many other you know storylines that were left open at the end of Halo 5, I think over time will be explained. We have Blue Team coming in you know, just before with uh, Shadows of Reach book, so is Blue Team going to be in the game too? We don't know, and I don't think we're going to know about that stuff until, well, 
the game actually releases. Since Halo Infinite is drawing such a strong influence from Combat Evolved, I think 343 is taking the approach of not telling you so much about the game and just letting you experience it and i think that's ultimately the best way to go about doing it so yeah we're not gonna know very many story details or characters really up until the release of the game i would say because it would just lend itself to a better experience for the player to not know things like if Cortana's back in, if the Flood are back in, versus Cyrus versus Blue Team, things like that. Also, since with the 10 year plan of Halo Infinite, obviously there's gonna be some form of campaign expansions coming to the game as well. And I'm sure they don't wanna close the door on potentially having Osiris come back or potentially having Blue Team come back to the game or something along those lines. And so uh, that's why I think that with uh, the big emphasis on mystery and exploration, which we'll get into later, is the reason why we won't really get a chance to see much of Halo Infinite. Infinite. And this leads into my third point is the emphasis on exploration. The open and expansive world as quoted by 343 is going to be in Halo Infinite. As we saw in the gameplay trailer, it's essentially a semi open world kind of experience that we'll have with the game and with a big emphasis on exploration. And obviously with exploration, it's really only interesting if you've never seen it or been there before. And from what it sounds like, there's going to be ways to upgrade your equipment through the external exploration you can do in the game like side missions or whatever kind of nooks and crannies things will be hiding throughout the entire world as well and obviously you can't show like so much of the map because then people will know where to look for things i mean we look frame by frame when it comes to these trailer analysis to try to give you guys the best content we can to give you guys the most informative video we possibly can do and so you know 343 knows this and they have to keep that in mind that like we can't they can't really show a whole lot because if you show off too much of the exploration it degrades the experience of when the game finally comes out and you know it just would render the exploration part of it obsolete and you just look up a YouTube tutorial and you'll be done right then and there which by the way I will totally be doing tutorial videos on these things so make sure you guys subscribe when that comes around and my fourth and final point here is that they're still finalizing the game and I think we're gonna be having a fall 2021 release uh, because of the recent additions that 343 has brought on to their development team one being Joseph Staten you know one of the lead writers in Bungie who basically helped create the Halo universe as a whole is has recently just jumped onto the team and I think if you're bringing someone that significant on as a project lead to help uh, facilitate the development of the story that you need some extra time. I think like a spring release is pretty much out of the question if you bring on a Joseph Staten. Because uh, if you're delaying to a spring release, that's more just tying up loose ends. If you're bringing on him, you need some serious work done and I'm expecting a fall 2021 release. I'm sure Joe Staten will have his own say when it comes to uh, the storytelling when it comes to Halo Infinite and so that's why I'm expecting a later release as well and so we're, they're still trying to figure out what they can put into this game by the time it releases. Also it was recently announced that Certain Affinity, the team that actually made Halo 2 Anniversary's multiplayer, ha has been working on Halo Infinite since December of 2019 but that was only recently just revealed. Uh, they're working on the multiplayer side of things again. Uh, they've done a fantastic job previously, so I'm really excited that they came and brought them back onto the team. But obviously, still things in a lot of production and a lot of development still needs to be done with Halo Infinite for this game to you know release in a proper state in, by 2021. So what would be the next thing revealed though and when can we expect this game to be released? As I've already kind of touched on it previously. Well, I think we're gonna see some bit of multiplayer. I think multiplayer is a little bit more straightforward. There's not like a whole lot of uh, things you can leak or remove or something like that unless there's parts of like maps or weapons or gadgets or armor types or things like that that or places on the maps in the game that will reveal too much about the campaign obviously those are kind of tied together uh, so I think but I think the next thing we're all asking is what is the multiplayer gonna be like when can we expect that oh that's a that's a that's really up to 343. I think they're still trying to figure this whole thing out as well right now as they do know that there is a release till 2021. They have a whole bunch of extra time to work on the game. So they probably add in things that they really wanted in at launch but just didn't, maybe didn't have the time. And also probably coincided with the release of the Halo TV show in 2021 as well. And as I mentioned, I'm pretty sure it will have a fall 2021 release probably sometime in October or November. So those are the reasons why I think we will pretty much know very little about Halo Infinite as a whole 
until the release of the game itself because it's focusing a lot on the mystery exploration and they don't want to mislead people with marketing and there still needs a, a lot of work to be done to finalize this game so we're gonna be you know pretty quiet when it comes to halo infinite news we might have to go back to reverting to toy leaks to give you guys the news i'm sure that you're all asking for but i'm sure we'll have more informative kind of leaks or things like that maybe specific things like maybe armor customization reveals or something very specific like that to the game or knowing that it's hit scan instead of projectile or something like that so if you guys like these discussion kind of videos please make sure to tap that like button let's be done once you see more content like this if you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so here's a link to all my news and informational videos if you want to catch yourself up so thank you so much for watching i greatly appreciate it i'll catch you all in the next video peace out